this is just going to be a very quick test, but uh, since I was playing around, I thought I would show everybody what I did. So what I did is I took the pilot out of my Henderson and just modified a simple nylon brush. You can just see the end of it right there to fit in there. Uh, it really doesn't affect the operation since I'm expanding over the size of the pilot anyway. So the brush now is, um, you know, when it's on, turning and cleaning out the inside of the neck, but still trimming and chamfering exactly the same. So what I have done is I have 10 that were run through the, uh, through the Henderson with the brush, and then these were run through the normal way with just the pilot. And obviously the question is, how will these seat and how will they shoot? Again, very small sample size in test, but uh, let me get them seated on the amp press. I'll show you the results and then we will go to the range and we'll see what they do on paper. Graph. So this is the first 10. You can see trace one through 10 here. And if you look, this is the brushed. Uh, the first one, uh, for whatever reason, was a little bit low. So 60, basically 65 right here. And then the rest are all kind of in this 70 to 80 range. Uh, so it definitely is pretty consistent, even though the end over here uh, looks pretty scattered. Uh, what I was kind of shocked at was the entry force right here. So, you know, typically when I do my non-brushed, which you're going to see here in a minute, um, you know, this tends to be a lot more consistent if you've seen any of my other graphs. So, uh, I don't know. I kind of looked at this and I was a little bit thrown because I thought, well, you know, if they're chamfering and deburring exactly the same as I used to do or normally do, I should say, uh, but I've brushed the inside, then this should in theory be more consistent in terms of entry force and stuff. So, um, I was a little bit thrown off. And then if we look at the no brush, you can see the no brush. It's a little steeper, like see how right here, this is a little more sloping uh, here. This is a steeper entry force, but it's more consistent. And then it opens up and it looks to open up about the same, uh, maybe a little, even a little tighter on the no brush. Uh, and the no brush over here uh, was a pretty good, you know, ES, pretty close to the spread on uh, the brush. I mean, it's it, they're a little bit off, but you know, like roughly the same ranges and everything. So I don't know. It was kind of strange. This to me seemed a little more consistent and I've always had really good luck with no brushing, but since I was playing around and thought I would try it. Now, one thing I will say with these brushed ones, I've never used a like, you know, keep in mind the Henderson's turning pretty fast and I've always done the no brushing. Like I've tried diamond brushes and, and uh, bronze brushes and, and nylon brushes and all kinds of stuff by hand. But maybe it's a function of just not being as consistent with the hand uh, brushes versus the other one. I don't know. It's it's very weird. Uh, so anyway, there's no brush. There's the brush. Let's take a look at what it actually did on target. On target results. Now, this top row, these three are the uh, brushed and the bottom is unbrushed. So I took four shots uh, brushed. So that is four shots. Uh, then we have three shots and then we have three shots. So this is all brushed and then four shots unbrushed, four, uh, three shots unbrushed and another three shots unbrushed. Uh, something to note that this bottom unbrushed load is what I've been shooting for the last month or so. And it shot really well for me at a thousand yards out at Rattlesnake last weekend. Um, I've been consistently shooting 213, 14, 15, at 600 yards at my club. So I've been really, really happy with this load. But then you look at this and you go, wow, like I realize it's only 10 shots and it is an anecdotal group. Uh, but maybe there's something to the way the brush is working with the Henderson. So let me show you the um, the chronograph data real quick. OK, so we've got uh, 10 shots. So here are the 10 shots for the brushed. Uh, so that was series one. You can see it had an SD of 3.5 and an ES of 10.9 on these 10 rounds here. And then this is the brushed, which was my series two. And you can see that the SD was a little higher, 4.7 compared to 3.5, and an ES of 13.9 compared to 10.9. So overall, the unbrushed had slightly higher SDs and ESs compared to that of the brushed, which definitely was lower. But you can't dispute these, these results here on target. Like, uh, this is pretty incredible. Uh, 
And, and I've tried, you know, like I've said, I've tried using bronze brushes, nylon brushes, diamond coated brushes. I've done all kinds of hand brushing. Um, and I've even used drills uh, as well. And I've just never been able to get consistent results out of it, which is why I've, you know, kind of been on the unbrushed uh, mode for a while. But I'm wondering now if there isn't something to putting it in that Henderson where it's just being really consistent because you know, it's sort of acting as the pilot. It's coming off the collet, which is is truing up that brass. Um, so there's no weird angles with me holding it by hand or anything. Um, it's consistent in terms of how long it's brushing because I'm I'm really consistent with how I trim and how long the brush is or how long the brass is in there, which means it's consistently getting hit by the brush each time. Uh, whatever it is, and, and again, I know it's only ten shots and there's a lot more testing to do, but this is giving me, you know. I mean, there's some hope that maybe this is a good process. And here's the thing. It's it's not a process that costs me anything. I'm not adding any time because I have to trim and, and chamfer, you know, as it is. And and so if the brush can replace my pilot and, and kind of double duty and give me these results, then why the heck not? Uh, so I've got a pretty decent match coming up this weekend. Uh, it's a long range match. And I'm going to go ahead and do this for that match. And we're just going to see how the ammo shoots. Uh, I, I don't see any reason at this point not to, you know, it's, it's sort of a, uh, you know, a C plus B minus level match. So it's not like a super critical one. I don't mind doing a little testing. Uh, I know the load is solid. I know it shoots great at 800 to a thousand. So if I can tighten it up with this process, then all the better. So, you know, I'll, I'll keep you guys updated best I can, but everything points towards this being a process that's working right now. So uh there you go uh, as always appreciate you guys watching uh you guys take it easy we'll talk later